the, we're going to do a baseball swing method real quick. A uh, big thing I found that helps out is not standing in front of the door and trying to swing in because the curve of your pipe end up coming out. And you want to get it kind of going in and split along where the actual uh, lock uh, goes into the, the frame. So <clears throat> the term basically is you want to stand to the side of the door a little bit. You don't want to be standing on the on home plate. You want to stay in the batter's box when you're uh, swinging in, okay? So a lot of times they'll come up, size the door up, try before you pry. Obviously the window's already broken, thanks to Jim Beagle, but well, usually that <laughs> usually that wouldn't happen. So uh, you want to be able to control the door. I don't want to break the window if I don't have to, because then I can't control the airflow into this into this house, right? So try before you pry. Don't want to break the window. Want to control the airflow. Put my uh, pipe right where I want to hit. I really don't like doing the whole baseball swing down here. I feel like there's a lot going on. You, you can get off, off track a little bit. <coughs> Placement's key. So I'll put it where I want it, kind of hold it in the middle here, and uh, ease back and just swing right in. And when I, once I get it in, I'm going to pull back first, not up, okay? So what about talking about your hips and your placement with the door frame? I want to be lined up right, right on the door frame here. All right, so off to the side that you're going to be swinging on, kind of like there's like a batter box basically. You don't, you can't hit, you can't swing for a home run uh, standing on home plate, right? So I'll be off to the side, pretty much in line right here with this door frame. See the placement where it went in? It actually drove in, and it's making the split along where the actual lock is in. So. It's pretty much probably opened itself by now if you can get good placement every time. If I was standing over here, the pipe would have gone in, but it would have been curving back towards me, which is not where I want it to be. I want it to go in as far as I can, okay? Now, it, it can work like that, but you're using more of a leverage to open the door. This way, I literally probably cracked the frame enough where I could push this door in right now. And the great thing about the uh, baseball swing that I like, rather than forcible entry where you're, you're going to open the door, you control the door a lot better. So as you come back with it, you know, the door is pretty much controlled. It's not going to swing open uh, violently, right? You can control how far it opens, okay? So all I'm doing is checking it, making sure it's open. I'll close it right here and get ready. Make sure the nozzle team is ready for the door. Actually swings open and allows a lot of oxygen to come in, okay? Thanks. Are you okay? Yep, I'm done. Here you can see a picture of what happens when the pike is buried too far away from the door. The frame actually ended up pulling away from the door and the door stayed intact. Didn't get a video of this, 